sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another Back to Basics Baseball, and I got a nice matchup for you this afternoon, today, this morning, whatever time it is that you're watching this video, and it's going to be the 71 Cardinals against the 71 Pirates. And the pitching matchup today will be Bob Gibson on the mound for the Redbirds. And for the Pirates will be Doc Ellis. And um, I will put the discards right here. So hopefully you can kind of see them. But I wanted to get at least the scoreboard and try to get so that the uh, discard pile is right here. So you can see what the result is. And try to get both of those um, in the scene so that you have an idea of what's going on. So, uh, the visiting team is the Cardinals. And uh, they are going to have a lineup of Lou Brock in left field. Matty Alou in center field. Joe Torre at third base, batting third. Ted Simmons will be the catcher, batting cleanup. Joe Haig will be at first base. Ted Sizemore will be at second base. Jose Cardinal will be in right. Del Maxville will be the shortstop. And as I said, Bob Gibson is on the mound. So um, with that, and uh, he's uh, the first batter is Lou Brock, and he will be facing Doc Ellis. Doc Ellis is a B pitcher. And Lou Brock is an A batter. So we pick the card, and you see up here for an A batter, it's a, it's a, um, for a B pitcher, it's a strikeout. If he's an A, it's striking people out. And he is not. So that means we will go down to the bottom of the card for the batter card, and we'll pick another card. So in the batter section, he is an A batter, and you can see for an A batter, that is a walk if he is an A or a B walking, and he is. So, uh, he ends up with a walk, and Doc Ellis has allowed the man, a man on board, and that brings up Matty Alou, and Matty Alou is an A batter, and as I said, Doc Ellis is a B pitcher. You look at B pitcher and it says swing, and then we go down below for the uh, A batter. And you've got a double if he is an A, B, or a C at doubling. And he is not. And so that is a single double asterisk, I believe, or uh, single runners advancing an extra base. Um, and so now they've got runners at first and third with nobody out and Joe Torre is the batter and Joe Torre uh, the uh, B pitcher says that there's a swing and he Joe Torre is an A plus batter and he gets a single double asterisk which is runners advance an extra base beyond the single and uh, there's no outs I don't know why advance that so uh, yeah they've got um, a run comes in a runner goes to third, and now you got Torrey at first, and Doc Ellis is getting his, uh, he's getting his butt beat in, giving up uh, an earned run and a run, and that brings up Ted Simmons. Ted Simmons, you've got a B pitcher, and the B pitcher says it's a deep fly to right field, uh, which will be an out. Um... And he is an ARBI guy. And so I believe since he is an ARBI, that knocks in the runner, runner from third. And so there is, that is the, uh, first, that's, that's, that's a sack fly um, to right field. So, and an RBI. And Doc Ellis gives up another, uh, well, that's not, actually, it's not another hit. It's only two hits, but he does give up another run. 
and the Cardinals are ahead 2 nothing with a runner at first and Joe Hag up. You look at the B pitcher card and uh, or the B on the pitcher on the card and it says short fly to center field so the runner on first won't go anywhere and that is going to be an um, F8 and there's two down and Ted Sizemore is the batter. And that is a, uh, the B pitcher says pop out to first base. And that's what that is. And that is all the Cardinals get, but they do get two. So we go to the bottom of the second inning. And uh, the Cardinals got two runs in the top of the first. And we go to the bottom of the second, or the bottom of the first, and uh, the Pirates lineup that will face Bob Gibson is going to be uh, Dave Cash leading off and playing second base, Al Oliver batting second, playing center field, Roberto Clemente uh, batting third and playing right, Willie Stargell will be in left field, Manny Sanguian at catcher, Bob Robertson at first base, Richie Hebner will be the third baseman. Gene Bowling Alley will be at shortstop, and as I said, Doc Ellis is the pitcher batting ninth. He is going up against uh, Bob Gibson, who is also a B pitcher, just like Doc Ellis is. So we pick the card, and uh, B pitcher says it's a swing, and the swing for uh, Dave Cash, he is a B-plus batter, and he gets a single. So, Dave Cash with a leadoff hit, just like the Cardinals got. And um, the next batter is Al Oliver. So, a B pitcher forces a swing, and Al Oliver is a B batter, and he gets a home run if he's a B, or it's a deep fly to right field if not. And he is not a B at home run, so it is going to be a fly out. And there are there is one down. Next batter is Clemente. He gets a swing, and Clemente is an A plus batter. He gets a home run if he is a B at homering, a B or better, and he isn't. Um, or it's a double with runners advancing three bases. So he does get a double and knock in the runner at first with the double. So that's two hits, surprisingly, uh, two hits allowed for uh, Bob Gibson and a run and an earned run already with a man at second and only one out. And Willie Stargell is the batter. Willie Stargell, there's a, a B pitcher forces a swing and Willie Stargell is a B plus batter. He gets a single two asterisk, which knocks in a run and ties the game. And so, you know, two good pitchers here, and uh, they've, uh, they've combined to allow four runs in just one inning so far. And the Pirates part of the first inning isn't even over with Sanguian stepping up. And uh, the B pitcher allows a swing, and Sanguian is an A batter. He gets a fly out to right field, so that'll be two away. That's an F9, and Bob Robertson comes up. B pitcher with two outs and a man at first. That's a swing. Bob Robertson is a C-plus hitter, and he gets a single one asterisk. So there's going to be runners at first and second. And uh, Bob Gibson giving up his fourth hit already. Uh, next batter is Hebner. B pitcher gets a swing, and Hebner is a C-plus. He gets a fly out to left field. So that's going to be an F7. And it does end the inning, uh, but not before the Pirates are able to tie the game at two apiece. And we go 2-2, two, two, top of the second inning. And we are picking up with Jose Cardinal. He is a D batter going up against a B pitcher. So you've got the B pitcher says strike out if he's an A, B, or a C at striking people out. Um, 
and he is not. And so that means that we would refer to the batter section, pick another card and refer to the batter section. And he is Cardinal is a D batter, as we've said. So he gets a fly out to center field. So that's going to be an F8, one away. And uh, Dal Maxville is up. Del Maxville against a B, the B pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, or a C at striking people out. And he is not. And so we go to the uh, batter card and he is a batter D. So we look at the batter D and it's a ground out to third base with an error check. Error C. And so we will pick the card and look at the error section. And you can see that that's an out. So that is going to be a five to three. Maxville is out. And we go to Bob Gibson as the batter. Uh, B pitcher forces a swing, or no, a strikeout. It's a B, it's B is a strikeout. So Bob Gibson just strikes out. How did they know the pitcher was up? Anyway, uh, regardless, it is three outs very quickly. And no runs come in for the Cardinals in the second. Still tied at two with the Pirates coming to bat here in the bottom of the second. And uh, they will pick up with Gene Bowling Alley, the shortstop for the Pirates. Against a B pitcher, he gets a strikeout. So he strikes out. And Bob Gibson gets, I believe, his first strikeout. Next batter is Doc Ellis. That is going to be a strikeout for a B pitcher. So Bob Gibson smokes the first two guys that he faces. And that brings to the plate the leadoff batter for the Pirates. And that is Dave Cash. And he gets a swing. And he is a batter B+. Plus, and a batter B+, plus gets a home run if he's a C. And uh, let's see here. Home runs, he is not. He is a D, so he gets a double instead. Double for Dave Cash, another hit allowed for Bob Gibson, fifth if I am counting correctly. Uh, B is a strikeout. A B pitcher gets a strikeout of Al Oliver. So he struck out uh, three guys that inning, but he did allow a double, but the double didn't uh, come around to score. And we have a 2-2 game still going to the top of the third inning. And uh, the Cardinals will be bringing to the plate the top of the order, which is Lou Brock in the person of Lou Brock. And that is going to be a swing, and Lou Brock is an A batter, and an A batter gets a home run if he's an A+, plus, which he isn't, so he gets a double. So Lou Brock is aboard again. He is two for, or what, he's one for one, but he walked the first time. Doc Ellis allowing an, yet another hit. Um, but that is only the one, two, three, third hit, yes. Three hits and a walk, and a walk, right? Yeah. So, with a man at second, no outs, um, Matty Alou is up for the Cardinals. Against a B pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is an A batter. A batter gets a home run if he's a C, which he is not, which means it's a deep fly to left field, and he will stay at second base. That's an F7, and Torrey is up. Joe Torrey against the B pitcher. He gets just a strikeout. So Doc Ellis smokes Tory, and there's two down, just like that. And uh, up to the plate steps Ted Simmons, the catcher, Ted Simmons. And the uh, card is a swing from a B pitcher, and Ted Simmons is an A batter. He gets a home run if he's an A+, plus, which he is not, but he does get a double and drive in the run. Um... So the Cardinals have another run. And Doc Ellis gives up his fourth hit and his third run. And 
That'll bring up to the plate Joe Haig. Joe Haig gets a swing from the uh, B pitcher, and he is a D batter, and a D batter gets a strikeout if he is a D or an F at striking out. Um, let's see. Uh, strikeout he is, so he does strike out. And so Doc Ellis strikes the uh, strikes out Joe Haig to get out of the inning, but not before the Cardinals have given up their third run, and uh, or the Cardinals have scored their third run and take the uh, three to two lead. We go to the bottom of the third inning with the Pirates batting. And sending Clemente up against the B batter or pitcher of uh, Bob Gibson. He uh, gets a swing and Clemente is an A plus batter and he gets a walk if he is an A at walking. Um, he is not. And so uh, that means that it's an out. And we will refer to the out section. And the out is an out to second base. So Clemente goes out four to three to lead off the third inning. Willie Stargell comes up against the B pitcher. He gets a swing. Willie Stargell is a B plus batter. He gets a single. That's another hit allowed by Gibson. Sixth hit allowed by Gibson. Unreal. And, um, with a man aboard and one down, Sanguian is the batter. Against a B pitcher, he gets a swing. Sanguian is an A batter. He gets a ground out to second base with a possible range check. So we'll do the range check at second base. Range is an A. And so we will pick another card and look at the range section. Here is the range section. He's an A. That is an out, and we'll see what kind of an out is a double play. So that is going to be a six, uh, a four, six, three, maybe a four, six, three double play. And they're out of the inning, and the Pirates don't get anything there. We go to the top of the fourth inning with the score 71 Cardinals, three. And the 71 Pirates, two. Um, and the Cardinals are up with Sizemore, the second baseman batting. You have an A, which is a fly out, or a B, B uh, pitcher gets a swing. And um, Sizemore is a C batter, and a C batter gets a walk if he's an A, B, C, or a D at walking. And he is. So he does get a walk. And um, that is going to be a walk for Sizemore to lead off the Cardinals fourth. And the second walk allowed by Doc Ellis. The next guy gets, um, the next guy being Jose Cardinal. The pitcher gets a swing from him. He is a D batter. And a D batter gets a single with two asterisks. So the runners are at the corners. The Cardinals are threatening to put more logs on the fire here as Ellis gives up another hit. They need a double play. The Pirates need a double play very badly. B pitcher gets a swing, allows a swing, and uh, Maxville is a D. He's the next batter. And he gets a home run if he's a B at home run, which he probably isn't. And uh, let's see, Maxville is not. But he does get a double and runners <coughs> advance three bases. So that'll knock in two runs. Is that five? Yeah, that's five, yep. And so Bob Gibson is the batter with a man at second. And I want to say nobody out, and it's true. Nobody out. And... Um, he is a B pitcher. He gets a swing from him. And Gibson is an F batter. He gets a fly out to right field. So that's going to be uh, an F9. That is the first out of the inning. 
Um, the next batter is Lou Brock. He is an A batter going up against the B pitcher, Ellis. The B pitcher gives up a ground out to the catcher, but there is a uh, an error check. Uh, who is that? It's Sanguian, and he is an error C. So we'll pick the card, refer to the error section, and C is an out. And uh, let's see, we'll have to pick a card to see what kind of out. Um, that is a one to three, and Matty Alou is the batter. Right? Yeah, Matty Alou is the batter. The B pitcher gives a short fly to center field, which will be the final out, I believe. Right? Yeah. So that's an F8. And uh, the Cardinals com come up with two more runs. And they have a 5-2 to two lead going to the bottom of the fourth inning with the Pirates uh, sending Bob Robertson as the first batter. He is a C-plus hitter. And uh, Bob Gibson is a B pitcher. So we will pick the card and see what happens on that. Uh, B gets a pop out to the catcher. So Bob Robertson popping out to the catcher. Richie Hebner is the next batter. B pitcher gets a swing and Hebner is a C plus batter. He gets a ground out to shortstop. So that's six to three. And then the next batter is Gene the Bowling Alley. And he gets a swing. The pitcher gives up a swing and Alley is a D batter, and he gets a strikeout if he's in D or an F at striking out, and he is. So he does strike out. And um, Bob Gibson gets yet another strikeout to put a, the feather in his cap. But the Pirates don't get any runs off Gibson in the fourth, and we go to the top of the fifth. It is five to two. Um, they're going to keep Ellis in. The Pirates are keeping Ellis in, probably hoping that they can uh, get him just through this inning and then they can bat for him in the bottom of the fifth. So in the top of the fifth, they're going to lead off. The Cardinals will lead off with Joe Torrey as the batter. And the B pitcher gets the swing and he is an A batter and he gets, or he's an A plus actually. He gets a double. Is that right? Yep, he gets a double. Um, yeah. So, a leadoff double by Torrey. They may not be able to get him through that inning like they wanted to. Um, next uh, batter is Ted Simmons, who is an A batter. B pitcher gives up a swing to an A batter, gets a fly out to left field. So, that's going to be an F7. Joe Haig. The next batter with one down and a man at second. B pitcher gives up a swing. And he is a D batter. And he gets a double with a two asterisk. So that knocks in the run. And Ellis has just gotten his, his butt beat in here. And the Pirates better hope that it's really worth pinch hitting for him. Um, because they've, they've already they've scored another run. They got a man at second. One out, and Ted Sizemore, who is a C batter. They are going to the bottom of the order now. So a B gives up, pitcher gives up a ground out to shortstop. That's two away. Uh, we'll see what kind. But um, that's going to be, yeah, it's just going to be a put out. And um, so let's see, six to three. Runner stays at second. Jose Cardinal. And uh, Jose Cardinal, uh, the pitcher is a B. He walks the batter if he is a B, C, D, or an F at walking. Um, and he is. So that is going to be a walk for Cardinal. And there are two batters on with two outs and Dal Maxville, the batter for the Cardinals. That is a walk if he's a D or an F, but I don't think he is. 
he isn't. So we'll pick another card and refer to the batter section. And the batter, Maxville, is a D, and he gets a fly out to left field. So another run comes in. They were hoping to get out of that without another run coming across, but it did. And so it is six to two as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. And the Pirates, as I mentioned, the uh, leadoff batter for the Pirates is Doc Ellis, but it won't be Doc Ellis. They are going to try to find a pinch hitter, and I'm sure they can. This list until I run into the guy. Let's see. Nick DeVillalo. Nick Vic, Vic DeVillalo will be the uh, batter. He is a B-plus batter, so we will pick the card. Gibson is a B pitcher, and he gets a strikeout. So DeVillalo, we're not even talking about it, because DeVillalo strikes out. In the fifth, right? This is the bottom of the fifth? That's right. We go to the top of the, uh, or it's the bottom of the fifth with one out, and Dave Cash is the batter. Dave Cash uh, against a B pitcher gets a fly out to right field, but it is an error check. Cardinal, and he is an error F. So we will pick the card, refer to the error section F, and it's still an out. So it is an F9. Yeah, F9, two down, and Al Oliver is the batter. He is a B batter going against a B pitcher. B gets a walk if he's an F at walking, which I doubt he is. Um, he isn't. So they will refer to the uh, batter section. Next card, and that's a B, and it's a home run if he's a C or a deep fly to left. If not, and he is not a C home run hitter, so he it does fly out. And no runs come across for the Pirates in the fifth inning. And they put up a lot of zeros here since the second, or since the first inning when they got two runs. Looked like they were going to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Cardinals for a while there. But that has not been what has happened. And now there will need to be a new pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. The pitcher will be Bruce Keeson. Of course, you might... Remember Bruce Keeson from the 79 Pirates, world champions. He is a pitcher C, and a C at walking people. Um, a D at strikeout. Um, and he has an endurance of five, so he can go, he's a long reliever, he can go long. And fielding-wise, Keeson is... Uh, an A and a B, as was Doc Ellis. So Bruce Keeson's out there now, uh, pitching to the uh, pitching to Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson is the batter. Of course, they're not going to take him out. He's pitching well and he's got a big lead. B pitcher allows a walk if he's a C, D, or an F at walking people. And he is not, and so we will have to look at the, uh, or wait a minute. C, he's a C pitcher. This is a C pitcher. This is Keeson. So Keeson strikes him out, actually. Keeson strikes Gibson out to lead off the sixth. We go to Lou Brock with one down. And uh, C pitcher gets a swing, and Lou Brock is a... Uh, a batter, and an A batter gets a ground out to first base. So that's going to be 3-1. to one. And Matty Alou, the next batter. C pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A or a B at striking people out. I don't think he is. He isn't. So we'll pick another card and look at the batter section. And he is a batter A, and a batter A gets a short fly to center field. So that's going to be an F8. And no runs come in. Keeson comes in and he shuts down the Cardinal offense, which Doc Ellis was not able to do very much at all today. And that, and that will take us to the bottom of the sixth inning.
and the Pirates sending Clemente up. Now, this is a good Pirates offense, so we'll have to see if it can get going. A B pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A at striking people out, and he isn't, uh, strangely. He is not an A at striking people out, and so um, we would refer to the batter section, and the batter is an A-plus hitter, and that's a ground out to second base. So Clemente gets a ground out, four to three. There's one down, and Willie Stargell is up. Uh, B uh, pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A. We've already determined he isn't. The batter is a B plus, and he gets a home run if he is an A at home runs. And it just so happens that he is. Stargell is an A home run hitter. He gets a home run, and that puts the Pirates on the board of the sixth. And um, brings up Manny Sanguian. Bob Gibson, the B pitcher, gets a strikeout. So it's just a just a plain out, out and out strike out. And Bob Robertson comes up with two down, and a B pitcher gets a strikeout. So he strikes him out, and uh, no runs or one run does come across for the Pirates. So the Pirates cut the lead in half. It is now six to three. In the top of the seventh and in the top of the seventh you have um who is coming up joe tory is coming up as we said keeson had good endurance and he's pitched well so far a c pitcher gets a swing and uh he is an a plus batter he gets a strikeout if he's a d or an f at striking out and he is so he does strike out Corey leads off with a strikeout. There's one down. C pitcher gets a swing from the next batter. He is an A. And A gets a home run if he's a B plus, which he isn't, so it's a deep fly to right. So that's going to be an F9. And Joe Haig is the batter. A C pitcher gets a swing. Haig is a, a D batter. Gets a home run if he's a B plus. Um, at home runs and he isn't and so he gets a deep fly to right so it's going to be F9 and the Cardinals get no runs in the 7th it's 6-3 to three. going to the bottom of the 7th with the 71 Pirates trying to get uh, equalized here somehow, some way over the next 3 innings to tie at least tie this game the batter will be Richie Hebner he is a C plus batter going up against the B pitcher the B pitcher gets a swing and the C plus batter gets a fly out to right so that is going to be a fly out uh, to right F9 Gene Alley the shortstop comes up B pitcher gets a swing and Alley is a D and that is going to be a D batter, and he's a home run if it's a, it, it's a home run if he's an A at home runs, and he isn't, and if not, it's a double. So uh, Alley gets a double, and that'll bring up um, Keeson. You got to believe they're going to pinch hit for Keeson. So we're going to do that. B pitcher gets a swing, and an A batter gets a fly out to left. So that's going to be two down and brings up Dave Cash back to the top of the order. It's up to Cash to try to knock him in. B uh, pitcher gets a swing and Cash is a B plus batter. He gets a triple if he's an A at tripling, which I'm sure he is not. Um, he isn't, but instead of uh, the triple, he just gets a double and knocks in the run. And the Pirates do get another run off of Gibson. And we go to, to Oliver. Oliver is a B batter. Facing the B pitcher, he gets a swing. B is a single, one asterisk. And so runners are going to be at the corners. And the Pirates have another chance to get yet another one run with Clemente, a very good hitter up. 
swing and he is an A plus batter and he gets a single two asterisk and knocks in another run. And now the Pirates are getting very close here. Stargell is the next batter. There is two down, however, I believe. Yes, there is two down. And uh, the B batter gets a fly out to left with a range check. And he is a range C, which is kind of weird. But anyway, uh, range C. And that is going to be a single. Brock allows a single. And uh, the Pirates have tied the game. It's crazy. And Sanguian is up. And... Uh, Against a B batter or pitcher, he gets a swing, and Sanguian is an A batter, and he gets a deep fly to center field. So that's going to be an F8. But guess what? The Pirates do tie the game. And it is 6-6. Six to six. We do need a new... I'm going to reshuffle the deck, and we will also need a new pitcher for the Pirates when we come back. Keeson has to leave the ball game even though he did pitch well. Okay, the next the uh, pitcher for the Pirates is going to be Nelson Bryles because he does have an endurance of four so he can pitch four innings before he would start to get fatigued and we are in a tie game so they may need that. Um, but we are in the top of the eighth with the uh, Cardinal sending Ted Sizemore up to the plate as the first batter. Now, uh, Bryles is a B pitcher, so we're back to a B pitcher for the Pirates. He gets a walk if he's a B, C, D, or an F at walking people, and he is. So that is going to be a walk for Ted Sizemore leading off the eighth. Brings up Jose Cardinal. He's a D batter going up against the B pitcher. B pitcher gets a walk if he's a C, D, or an F, and I don't know. No, he isn't. He is not a C, D, or an F. So we will refer to the, uh, we'll pick a card and refer to the batter section. And um, he is a batter D, and he gets a fly out to left field. So that's going to be an F7. Del Maxville is the next batter and he is a D batter against the B pitcher. He gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking people out. And he is. So that is going to be a strikeout. There's two down with a man at first for the Cardinals. Bob Gibson's up. Um, you know what? They are going to pinch hit for Bob Gibson. Chitter is going to be Jerry McNertney. He's a B plus batter. So against the uh, B pitcher. The B pitcher gives a strikeout if he's an A, B, or C, and he is not, so we'll refer to the batter card of the next card. He's a B plus. He gets a ground out to first base. So McNertney grounds out. That is the end of the inning for the Cardinals. And uh, we go to the bottom of the eighth, and the Cardinals now are going to need another pitcher as uh, Bob Gibson went seven very uneventful innings. So it's going to be Mike Torres. Mike Torres is going to come in and be the new Cardinals pitcher. And he is, let's see, he is an F all the way, is he an F all the way across the board? Wow. He is an F all the way across the board. Everything is F. So... I don't know how long he's going to last. He has an endurance of four, but he may be exiting along before that happens. Um, but you have the um, batter for the, what are we, the Pirates, bottom of the eighth. So, let's see. The batter is going to be Bob Robertson, and he is a C-plus batter going up against an F pitcher. So an F pitcher allows a walk. Yeah, this is not. This may not go well for them. Um, Mike Torres walks a guy, and the next batter is Hebner, Richie Hebner. He's a C plus batter. F pitcher gets a swing, and a C plus batter gets a pop out to short. 
pop out six. Gene Alley is the next batter. F pitcher gets a swing, and uh, Alley is a D batter, and he gets a ground out uh, to the catcher with a range check, and his range is a D. And uh, we look at the range section, and D, and that's an out. Um, and we'll pick a card, see what kind of an out. And it is going to be a fielder's choice. So uh, the runner is at first, there's two down. And the batter is the, uh, is the pitcher, Nelson Bryles. But they're going to let, um, let's see. They're going to let Nelson Bryles hit because they may need him for a, a couple more innings. And he is pitching well and he's a B pitcher. So an F uh, pitcher gets a strikeout if he's an A, B, C, or a D at striking people out. And he is not because he's an F across the board. So we will look at the um, uh, batting section for Nelson Bryles. And Nelson Bryles as a batter is a C batter. So we'll pick the next card and we'll see what a C batter gets. And he gets a strikeout. So kind of predictable. He gets a K in the eighth. And the uh, Pirates get nothing. In the eighth we go to the top of the ninth in a tie game. This game has really unfolded in a uh, strange way, two really good starting pitchers have gotten their butts handed to them by the other offense. And we are now in the top of the ninth. And the batter is... Um, the batter is... We're at the top of the Cardinals order with Lou Brock. And Bryles is a B pitcher. B pitcher gets a swing. And Brock is an A batter. And he gets a fly out to right field. So he's out. Matty Alou, the next batter. He is an A batter of, uh, also. There's a swing. And an A batter gets a fly out to right field again. That's two down very quickly. And uh, B pitcher gets a swing. The next batter is an A plus, And he gets a single. That's Joe Torrey. Torrey with the hit, and Ted Simmons is the batter. B pitcher gets a swing, and um, Simmons is an A batter, and he gets a fly out to center field. F8, and the Pirates can win this game right now. They were down it by three points. There were three runs, not points. They were down by three runs as late as the seventh inning, but they had a three-run seventh to tie the game. And um, and now they have the chance with just one single run off of Mike Torres, they could go home the victors. They will be at the top of the order as well with uh, Dave Cash, who is a B-plus batter. An F pitcher gets a ground out to shortstop with an error check. And he is an error B. So we'll pick the card. We'll look at the error section. B, it's an out. So it is 6-3. to three. Cash goes out 6-3. to three. The next batter is a, is a B batter against an F pitcher. Ground out to the catcher with a range check. E. Pick the card for the range, and a D allows a single, so there's a base hit. The Pirates have the uh, have a, have a base runner with only one down. Clemente, an A plus batter, is the next hitter. Against an F pitcher, he gets a swing, and he is an A plus batter. He gets a fly out to left, and that brings up Willie Stargell, Wilman Stargell. Pops and he gets a from an F pitcher, he gets a swing. He is a B plus batter, he gets a ground out to first base. So that's going to be a ground out three, 
and they don't get anything in the ninth and now we stay tied going to the top of the 10th and the Cardinals will be sending up this inning Haig, Sizemore, and Cardinal at least. Bryles is, I'm going to say Bryles is still out there, but this is going to be the last inning for him. He is a B pitcher, and he allows a walk if he's a B, C, D, or an F at walking people, and he is. So, Haig is aboard with a walk to lead off the 10th. Ted Sizemore, the next batter. That's a B pitcher, gets a walk if he's a D or an F. He gives up a walk if he's a D or an F at walking people. He isn't, so we'll pick the next card and refer to the batter's card. And he's a C. And a C gets a ground out to second base with a range check. And the range on the second baseman is, a, uh, is an A. So we'll pick the card, refer to the range. Range is an A, it's an out, and uh, the out will pick the next card to see what kind of an out. And um, that is going to be, uh, I believe that's an advance, the, run, the runner advances. So that is going to be uh, four to three. I think it was four to three, but anyway, runner advances. Runner at second with one down. Jose Cardinal is the batter. The B pitcher gives up the ground out to third base. So that's two down. And Dell Maxville is the next batter. Against a B pitcher, he gets a ground out with an error check. Ground out to second is an error D. So we'll pick the card, look for the error. Error D, it's an out. So it is a four to three. Maxville's out. No runs come in in the 10th for the Cardinals. Again, we have the situation where the Pirates can win the game if they can score a single run here. And um, you know what? We are gonna replace Torres for the Cardinals. There'll be a new pitcher coming on. They're going to bring in Santiago Guzman. And Santiago Guzman is a an A pitcher. And in fact, he's an A across the board. And a five endurance. So it's going to be a tough, that's going to be a tough row to hoe for the, uh, for the uh, Pirates. But... They're going to send up Manny Sanguin. He was an A batter. So an A batter going up against an A pitcher. The A pitcher gives up a swing and the A batter gets a pop out to first base. Pop out three. The next batter is Bob Robertson. He's a C plus. An A pitcher gives up a swing and a C plus gets a double if he's an A, B, C, or a D at doubling. And he is so he gets a double runner at second one out richie hebner the batter richie hebner is a c plus batter and a pitcher gets a fly out to center field f8 there's two down and gene alley is the batter and a pitcher gets a walk kind of strange but he gives up a walk and with um, Ellis, or with Bryles, the batter, they're going to pinch hit because they would like to win the game right now. With Rennie Stennett, and Rennie Stennett is an A-plus batter. So they will pick the card, the A pitcher. On the mound gets a swing, and an A-plus batter gets a pop out to third base. So that was a waste of Rennie Stennett, and now they have to come up with a new pitcher. Um to uh, take Bryles' place. And not only that, but they don't get any runs in the 10th. Now notice how I ran this out to the 17th inning. I didn't really plan for there to be 17 innings, but at this rate, there just might be. Um, 
somebody again, hopefully with some endurance. It's going to be John Lamb. I never even heard of John Lamb. And John Lamb in 1971 apparently only pitched 4.3 innings, but he has an endurance of two. And he's an ABF across the board. So has an endurance of two. We'll take him at the word that uh, he can go to. And uh, the uh, Cardinals are coming up here in the top of the 11th and leading off with the pitcher spot. That is Guzman, but he's a very good pitcher. They're going to let him bat. Um, and Lamb is an A pitcher. He gets a ground out to the catcher with an error check and a C. So we'll pick the card. Error C, it's an out. So it is going to be a one to three. Um, yeah. One to three for the pitcher. He's out. Next batter. An A pitcher gets a swing, and Lou Brock is an A batter. He gets a strikeout if he's a CD or an F at striking out, and he is. Um, or wait a minute. Yeah, he is. I, that's really kind of weird. But anyway, so he strikes out. And the next batter is Matty Alou. Um, an A pitcher gives up a walk if he's an F at walking people. And he is not, so we will pick the card. He is a batter A, Matty Alou is. And a batter A gets a walk if he's an A, B, C, or a D. Probably is. Um, he is, so he walks. So two down, man at first base. And the pitcher is an A, he gets a walk if he's a C, D, or an F at walking people. And he isn't, so we'll pick for the we'll pick the card. It's Tory. He's an A plus batter, so we'll refer to the batter section. He gets a ground out to first base, so he grounds out. The Cardinals get nothing in the eleventh. We go to the bottom of the eleventh inning in the game, and um, again the Pirates situation where they can win the game. And they have the pitcher batting. And the pitcher is Lamb. Again, same situation as with the Cardinals. He's a good pitcher, so they're going to keep him out. He's gonna, they're going to let him hit. And uh, Guzman is an A pitcher. He gets a swing. And Lamb, as a batter, is... Uh, let's see. He is an F batter, so we'll pick the card. Or, or no, we'll refer to the F down here. It's a single. So he gets a leadoff single, the pitcher does, here in the 11th. And uh, Dave Cash is the batter. Dave Cash against an A pitcher. Gets a swing and Cash is a B plus. He gets a ground out to third base. We will pick the card and look at what kind of an out. And it is going to be a... Uh, line out. So it's a line out, one down. Al Oliver is up. And uh, Al Oliver against an A pitcher, right? Gets a swing. And Al Oliver is a B batter. He gets a double if he's an A, B, or a C at doubling. Um, and he is. And the double is what kind? It's a two base double. So now you got runners at second and third with only one out. The infield has to come in for the Cardinals with Roberto Clemente up. And um, an A pitcher gets a swing and Clemente is an A plus. He gets a ground out to second base. So we will see with the infield in what happens. All right, we're going to pick the card and look at the out type on the infield. And it is an AD and an AD. The batter is safe at first. 
and draw another card to consult the ground out section. If the result is AD, all runners are safe, and the throw to the plate is not in time on the rolling grounder. So we will check that. We'll do another card. And it is an AD, and so that is a single, and it scores the winning run. And the Pirates win the game with another run in the 11th and that is going to be it and that is it for me sportsman z bob zalke that's your final score here the 71 cardinals going down in defeat by the score of seven to six to the 71 pirates who score a run in the bottom of the 11th to win it